So let us today have a look at what is Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. Now, in 1983, Gardner claimed that the theories, the previous theories which were discovered to define intelligence were quite narrow. So what he did, he decided to define intelligence in a very broad sense. So in 1999, he came up with his own theory that was intelligence can not be defined as one single aspect. Intelligence are of different types. So he defined eight different aspects of intelligences. Okay, And in 2009, he added another aspect of intelligence. So in all, there are nine different type of intelligences the person has, which are interrelated to each other and some are independent of each other. Okay? Now we'll have a look at these intelligences one by one. Okay? Now to remember these intelligences, we can have a simple word, limb lines. Okay? So we can remember all the intelligences. Now we'll look at these one by one. Now limb lines, L means linguistic, linguistic means the command over the language. Another L, that means logical mathematical, that is the numerical ability of a person. Okay. Then comes I, that is interpersonal. Interpersonal means how a person has a conversation with another person, how connected he feels with the other persons and so on. Uh, intrapersonal, intrapersonal how a person knows the feelings inside a single person. Interpersonal is the interaction between the people and intrapersonal is the interaction of a person within himself. Okay. Then come M. M is for musical intelligence. B is for bodily kinesthetic intelligence. S is for spatial intelligence. N is for naturalistic intelligence. E is for existential intelligence. And S is for spatial intelligence. Now, linguistic intelligence means what, how fluent is a person in a particular language, how easily he is able to express himself or how easily he is able to grasp the ideas given in a particular language. That is given by linguistic intelligence. The career choices for these type of intelligences could be philosophers or could be teachers, etc. and so on. Okay. Now, the second intelligence you can say is logical mathematical intelligence. Uh, how fluently these people are able to solve the mathematical problems is given by this intelligence. The people who score higher in these type of intelligence could be engineers, could be doctors, could be any other professionals in their fields. Okay. The next comes the interpersonal intelligences. Interpersonal intelligence how easily the person is able to have a conversation with another person. Uh, you can see the politicians, you can see the Counselors, these are the people who are able to have a proper conversation with the people so that they are able to convince the others very fluently. Okay. Next comes the intrapersonal intelligence. This is quite related with the previous one, but in this, the person should be able to get what are the inner feelings of another person or himself as well, such as the psychologists do. Okay. Psychologist or you can say clinical psychologist who are able to understand what a person is thinking from inside and then they give them proper counseling and so on. So this is intrapersonal and that was interpersonal. Okay. The next comes musical intelligence. Musical intelligence can be of uh, operating different type of instruments or can be singing or can be any other thing related to songs. Okay. So such type of persons can become uh, singers can become musicians and so on. Next is bodily kinesthetic. Now, uh, the people who have a proper physique, who properly do exercise daily, they have a proper body build, they can be athletes, they can be bodybuilders, they can be any other things that are related to sports. These are the people who score higher in the bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Spatial intelligence. Now, spatial intelligence means the people who are able to uh, understand the space properly or understand uh, how the logical things work in the nature such as you can see the pilots he should know when to apply the proper brakes on the plane when to start landing so these are different things which the person should be able to get by just visualizing things so that is what a spatial intelligence means 
the next comes naturalistic intelligence now naturalistic intelligence uh, here means how a person is able to uh, withstand with the environment how easily he is able to adapt to the surroundings that is naturalistic intelligence okay now such type of persons can become farmers gardeners or landscapers these are these are the people who are able to adapt to the surroundings properly who is able to gel to the environment okay and the last comes the existential intelligence now this is a special type of intelligence because here these are the people who are able to grasp the things which are not tangible or which might not be visible such as the philosophers the philosophers are always trying to think out of the box okay uh, you can see the cosmologists these are the people who are able to see the things or who are able to visualize or understand the things which do not really exist in the tangible world okay so these are different aspects which gardner explained that the person might have different type of intelligences 